first step of our desk conversion was that we wanted to go ahead and kind of reuse materials that we already had. Now in the bus previously, the butcher block as well as the hinges that we used to have the butcher block sit on were in another part of the bus. Now the reason why I couldn't just use that part of the bus as a desk itself was because one, it was too tall for the bench height and two, it just was too big, too thick. It just wasn't really working for me. So the first thing that we needed to do to kind of make it adaptable to my size is that we had to take down the hinges. Hi Fortune! You had to take down the hinges and take down the butcher block um, and then basically like unscrew everything to kind of have a clean slate. Then after we were able to unscrew all the hinges and screw all of the wood and everything, we wanted to cut the wood down to size because I had sat on the actual chair that I was going to be using for the desk and we had sized it to see, okay, so where does it, where do I want the desk to sit? Where is it comfortable? Where I like look at the um, laptop that I use for work and also just like um, my personal laptop. So once we had sized the desk to fit me, we needed to cut it. Can you mark the corners that you want me to round? Yeah. And then I'll just leave the other ones um, pointless. <laughs> you see what I did there, the pun? Leaving it pointless? You're not laughing at my joke. I thought my joke was funny, but he didn't hear me or he didn't get it. So after I was instructed on where to sand the wood and how to leave it pointless, I'm not gonna let it die because it's funny. Um, I went ahead and got the sander and started to get to work. Now, like Dan was explaining, there were certain parts of the wood that we needed to be sharp so that it would be seamless with the um, countertop that it was next to. So I did my best to remember those directions and I got to sanding. <laughs>
And then after I sanded it, I decided to paint it because, you know, I wanted the pink work desk. So we are back home after I spent the morning painting my desk. I didn't really want to film that because it's paint. That's kind of boring. I did want to let you guys know what paint color I use, though. So I'll put the paint here and also the name of the paint as well as well as the brand and i'll also link it down in the description below and also the brushes that i use because it's a specific type of brush i was recommended by a person at lowe's to use for the paint so basically all i did was just like wash down the wood and i just painted it <laughs> that color i didn't have a whole bunch of brush marks i'm pretty pleased with the product and it dries matte i don't know if it's maybe because of the type of brushes i used where i really felt like i was barely doing it right but it looks good so we're gonna go with it but i'm really happy with how she's looking so i am going to hopefully install her tonight um and then we'll just see the final product um and then after that we were able to bring it back to the bus and essentially install it there's you want to connect the pink very very pink piece of wood to the sports you need six screws there's holes on the bottom here mm -hmm. so we'll just mark the middle of the holes with a sharpie Super complex. Okay. So, you now. Well, these supports have quite a bit of wiggle room, so you don't really have to worry about doing it perfectly. So, these are the screws we're going to use. We're going to pre drill them so that we can avoid splitting the wood. So, the last thing you want to do is almost finish project and then have to restart. I have no idea what size drill bit this is, and all I know is this is two two inches long. That's all you really need to know. You just line it up and make sure that the drill bit blocks out the main part, so like this part, but that the threads stick out. Because you want the threads to stick into the wood, but you want to make room for the main part. So basically, I am just screwing all the holes that we did with the sharpie or pre-drilling them and then essentially you just flip it over and then you're done <laughs> Now, once you flip the wood over, you want to go underneath the desk and just make sure that you are lining the holes from the railing with all of the holes that you pre-drilled into the wood. And then once all of the holes are lined, more specifically the two corner holes um, are aligned, then you can just go ahead and start screwing it in. Ta-da! Ta-da! So it goes away. And it comes right back. Sit on it. <laughs> yeah, it's holding that weight. It has done why. Oh my god. <laughs> So this part of the video is entirely optional. I just opted to have a full-fledged uh, workspace, almost like the closest I can get to an office area. 
being that I live in the bus. Um, since I work remotely, it's very, very common that I have to hop on Zoom or some conference call. So it was important for me to actually have, you know, a nice clear background, some lighting, and also just little things around my desk to kind of just make it feel very put together and homey-like. So the first thing I went ahead and did is I did my own DIY window covers. If it hasn't already dropped on the channel yet, expect a tutorial of how I did this coming soon because the tinfoil definitely had to go. It was time for the tinfoil to go. Um, so um, I have listed all the things that I use to do these DIY, DIY window covers in my Amazon storefront, which should be linked in the description of this video. So I went ahead and I did those window covers. Um, the next thing that I went ahead and did as well was I wanted to add a little bit of a spunk to my macrame planters. So I just took some Dollar Tree flowers and just added them to the planters themselves just to kind of tie in with the uh, pink theme. Then after that, I also wanted to install some lights. So I went on Amazon and I did purchase some puck lights. Um, they're just simple battery operated screw in puck lights. I figured it would give me an opportunity to still have a source of light even when I'm working into the night, um, which I thought was a really, really great idea. I also installed some in my closet too. Um, and then I also went on Amazon and I bought a desk organizer because I just was always losing my pens. So it was very helpful for me to just have a designated cup that mounted to the wall so I can just, you know, put my pens in there and grab them while I'm working if I need to draw anything down, which made it a little bit more functional to, for me, honestly. So now I don't have to keep buying pens that I lose, which is amazing. And that was the final product. Like, honestly, I'm super duper happy with how everything came out. Everything that I used in this video, I did try to link it in my Amazon storefront so that you guys can pick up some things that you like, um, that you found to be helpful. Maybe you want to do it in your bus build and your own office space um so you know check the link in the description if you guys enjoyed this video feel free to like and subscribe um i'm definitely going to be posting a lot more you know diy home decor conversion type videos because i have a bunch of projects coming up next um so you know feel free to subscribe so that you don't miss a single upload from me and also follow me on my Instagram at the real MGIA because I post a lot of uh, behind the scenes, a lot of, you know, reels, that sort of stuff. Um, and I'd love to see you guys there too. So, you know, without further ado, that's the video. So I really um, enjoy you guys watching it through and I'll see you in the next one.